welcome back in this video we'll discuss about how to set the system time zone okay in earlier video we have seen that if we change the time zone from the plc configuration that required to cpu stop if you stop the cpu then our process will be stopped so show you second option that directly go to the plc and set the time local time and time zone from there also now i will show you how to set the time zone from the plc program and that not required to stop your cpu okay let's see here in network 3 i will add function that's called the set time zone here i will just drag and drop okay it asking for a data block and that name is set time zone db okay i will give a permission to create that data block okay it created now this time zone block required some tag memory tag okay i will create that tag okay that one is for request if you give a request here if there is give a one that mean true then when you set the time here it will directly write to your cpu okay in the system time zone time local here i'll add okay now here i'll give the time zone request or you request and that is boolean tag okay now here our set time okay before i will create the time zone i will create that four tag that is t zone done done means our scan or write of write is done t zone bg that also true or boolean that also boolean t zone okay error that also boolean and fourth one is status t zone time zone set time zone status okay that is integer okay int and most important tag is our time zone tag here t t zone time zone and t tag type is here you can just select this one here it's showing that input type is time transformation rule so our data type here is not integer it time time trans or you cannot see okay i will delete here you cannot find that time transformation here you cannot find this one see this time transformation data type is not here present here okay so just write time trans transformation rule it will create a tag with the data type struct data type okay it will create a data type with struct it already created but it is not showing in data type okay here i will expand here you can see the t zone structure data type it has bias tag bias tag it has bias tag that is integer 
and that bias tag is your time that how many time will be shipped from the UTC your local time suppose for my case it is plus 6 okay so UTC plus 6 so you have to write here not plus 6 it is in minute so for my case it is 6 multiply by 60 okay so 360 okay and here is daylight bias so if the daylight bias is 0 means your daylight is not set daylight option is not set if you give here is in minute you can give a minute so daylight time daylight saving time you can set from 0 to 120 minute but if you set it 0 daylight saving means daylight not you configure you have no daylight saving time okay so when you set it one or more than so your other here daylight start month week and that need to set and that month if you set here is one that means it will start from january and if you set here as week one two three four five okay so you can set up to five here okay and here weekday here and here weekday by default sunday is your one is your first day as a one if you want to set your start weekday for Sunday, uh, for saturday you have to set it seven because for the case there are the value set in the plc that if you set it as a one it will start the daylight saving day as a sunday but monday for monday it is true for other it will increasing by one and for the last day it is seven and that for the saturday so if you want to start your day as saturday you have to set it as a seven okay and uh, same way here month week okay there are several things so for my case i will set it as a 120 okay just i will set the time zone for utc plus or minus time other i will neglect i will not set the daylight saving okay now i will drag and drop the tag here okay request tag here now this is time done execution done execution in progress that means busy if there is a error okay and it will show a error status that with the integer value okay now i will download and check and we will set some zone ok now in this way you do not have to go to directly your plc or you do not need to stop your cpu to set time zone if you forget to set the cpu time zone you can set any time by this time zone set time zone function okay now our time here i will show that for now for now it is my case it's 3 4 47 pm and this is 147 because uh, there are some time lag you can set it by the plc diagnostic okay you can set the time from your plc uh, pure pcpc okay 
Now, here, if we make it true here, okay, so it will take the time zone from what we have set here. What we have set here, it will take the time zone. Okay, now it is same because we have set the 360 means UTC plus 6. It's already UTC plus 6. So if you want to change, if you want to visible change here, I will show that 120. That means it is GMT, sorry, UTC plus 2 means 20, 120 minutes. So I will set that UTC plus 2 time. So our local time will be here as a 11 okay here you can see local time in 11 okay it is not taking from the UPGPC PGPC program it will only take it from PGPC when you click from the diagnostic I will show again here function. I will minimize this one. Okay, set time here. If we set apply here, you can see the time in time in 11:48, but the PGPC time is 3:48, means the 15:48. So if you click the apply, it will set it is not set because you have set the time zone as a here you have set the time zone as a 120 minutes means it is utc plus 6 so earlier utc plus 9 here so you have to set the 360 it will set automatically so you have set the time here just go to a request when the request request value is high it will take automatically see the utc plus this time okay also you can set by here just untick it and set it just like So, okay, 7. So, apply this. So, here you can see again the value 7. So, by this way, you can set. If you don't want to change your UTC plus time or local time, time zone, you can set by manually. Okay. So, for now, I will apply the local time from PGPC. Okay. Thank you.